Check out this exclusive interview at the G-List Society with your host, Wady G, right now. Hello, listeners. I am Wady G, the creator of the G-List Society blog, and you are listening to a new episode of G-Chat, where I interview our favorite LGBT personalities over the phone. And right now, I have two exciting guests. Normally, I have one, but today is a special occasion because if you watch the Grammys, on um, this past Sunday, or um, well, for depending on when you saw it, January 2014, um, there was a big ceremony, a marriage ceremony that happened during the uh, Macklemore performance, and two or one set of the couples were there, and it just uh, it blew it just blew me away once I found out who they were. And then uh, when I featured them on the blog, I mean, you guys, like, showed a lot of love to this couple. And and they are Octavius Terry and Jamal Sims. Hello, guys. Hey. Hey, everybody. Hey. What's happening? Everything is great. I want to say congratulations now that I'm speaking to you. Oh, thank and you. I'm, and I'm sure you're getting them everywhere. Um so, like, just talk about right, right now, being that, um, let's see, this is the 30th, so was that four days ago, five days ago? Yeah. Ha- are you still going through, like, notes and emails and congratulations from um, Sunday ceremony? Absolutely, yes. And it's all and it's all been so powerful and moving and, you know, and, and the, the, the outpouring of, like, positive support. We haven't. And to be honest, it's weird, but we haven't had anything, any negative backlash or, or either we haven't been looking for it, but it's just been more of, you know, what we wanted to do and the reason why we did it to, to give an example, especially as two men of color uh, coming together and actually getting married because you don't see that that often. You see a, a lot of single African-American guys, but we just wanted to put a face and show that, you know, this, this can really happen, and those are the messages that we've been getting the most of back from younger kids saying, you know, now I believe that it can happen. You know what I mean? And that, this is like yep. Vegas. And I'm sure Jamal has some feedback because we he's been getting it, and we haven't been even talk, been able to talk to each other because we've been on our own phones and our <laughs> social media messages. And we'll be at dinner the last four days, not even talking to each other. Wow. We we, we do talk to each other, but, yeah, but, yeah. but but like you know, it's just it's so so we've been so full of like support and and we'll show each other you know messages that we're getting and uh, I, I know that uh, you know I saved like five ones that kind of brought me to tears and Octavia says yeah. too so it's just been great it's been cool it's been you know um, so unexpected because we we didn't know what we were going to get and the outpour of support has just been tremendous so okay. yeah. if you guys don't mind let's walk to just how it started what, um, how were you guys notified in particular to be a part of this ceremony? So, so well, this is Jamal speaking. So what happened was uh, over the holidays we decided to uh, to get engaged. We, we, we went to a friend of ours' wedding, and, uh, you know, it was amazing. And, and, and we had always talked about doing, about getting married because, uh, we, no, we, we had never talked about it. Until it was overturned in California, be, until it came became a reality. So we've been together for right, like seven years, years, actually. Yeah. So this year, so over the holidays, we were talking about it, and we were talking about how two four, 2014 would be our year because I'm born January 7th, and he's no, November 7th. So combining the two, made 14. So we were like, 2014 is going to be the date. So after the wedding we said we're definitely going to get married like there's no doubt and i and i mentioned that we should tell our parents first because before anybody knows we should tell our parents so his mom was coming to la for christmas so she was staying with us so him her and her and his aunt stayed with us and we we told them over breakfast along with my parents and they were just they were they were so supportive and excited and so we were like, well, let's. I decided that I was going to put it on Facebook, and I was just going to put "engaged," you know, as my Facebook status. So I did that. From that point, <laughs> the well, cast. I, 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 I didn't tell him, but but, him, but but I did it. And in the morning. <laughs> and from the, and the, the only, only way I knew, I was getting notifications, and this is kind of like it was 
a, a whisper of why we should do it because, you know, on Facebook, you can do anything, change your status, relationship status, and it's not that much. You know, everybody notices it, but uh, literally, this is Octavius. When he did it, I was asleep, and then my phone, I just had like a million notifications. And then I look, and Jamal was sitting up in the bed like a, a little kid. I said, what did you do? He said, I only changed that status to engaged, and <laughs> literally it was like 800 likes in like an hour or so. And I was like, oh, my goodness. Oh, you so, guys can't get away with the status change just like that, you know? I mean, no, I, I didn't think, I didn't really think about it like that. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. I, I mean, people do it all the time. You know, I always see, like, people go from single to, you know, in a relationship. Like, and it wasn't a big deal. I was like, well, let me just see what happened. And, yeah, it was crazy. But long story short, the casting agency uh, uh, was, uh, saw it, and they contacted us and asked if we would be uh, interested in doing is getting married on the Grammy. And at that point, wow. well, yeah, a little bit before that, they even before they asked us, they said that we want you, you know, there's something we want to ask you guys about, you know, something involving marriage, but you have to sign a non-disclosure confidentiality agreement before we can even talk about it. So Jamal and I were hesitant. We're like, what is this about? We thought it was a maybe a reality show about being engaged or something. So we went ahead and did it. And we were actually going to the wedding of uh, Twitch from So You Think You Can Dance. We were literally in the car when we got the call, and Jamal answered it. And Yeah, so anyway, so long story short, that's how it all happened. And uh, we decided, we said, we, we thought it would be great. We thought that we knew that us getting married was, was exactly what we wanted to do. This way, we thought that we could put it out in um, in the world that, you know, it is possible for two, you know, um, men and especially men of color to get married and it'd be okay. And, and, and people just have to, you have to put it in people's faces for them to start changing their minds. And that's, that's, that's the only thing. And we wanted just to really, like, again, you know, help the younger folks and the younger generation to, to see it. So that, that was our main purpose because all the letters were like, you know, wow, now I can finally do it and all that kind of stuff. So that was, that was the reason. That was the purpose. Absolutely. And, and, and again, you know, I have to reiterate what you said, you know, just the fact that all the still photos and even what was shown on TV, you see two men of color and, you know, for the most part, and that was just, I mean, I yeah. saw my Facebook timeline blowing up. People, you know, say they were in tears or they were just, you know, I, I mean, I couldn't stop smiling and it was a little bit oh. with myself because, yeah. you know, I mean, that's just reaction. Now, when you, okay, so when you decided to go ahead and go on with the um, ceremony at the Grammys, how were you able, were you able to invite any close loved ones or how was that arranged as far as who you bring with you if you could? No, this is this is not changing. That that was the whole that was the, the the thing that we were unsure about because a we didn't even know that you know by doing this because originally when we found out we didn't know any other couples until when you saw us posting stuff on Instagram which was that Saturday at the rehearsal they originally said there were going to be fifty couples you know gay straight we didn't know the color or who it was and then that number on Saturday had fallen down to thirty four and, and as you know on Sunday thirty three because somebody had spoken to a, a newspaper. But um, even oh. with that in mind, we had secretly planned a a marriage and ceremony in, a, in an undisclosed location in the Hollywood Hills as a location to give all our friends and family because we only we wanted to do this in in front of the 28 million people. But because of who we are, our parents just wouldn't allow us to not be able just to do that and then not have some sort of ceremony. So. We, in a perfect world, we wanted to, we had the, the, this place in Hollywood Hills where we invited everybody that they thought they were coming to see us get physically married there. Mm-hmm. And uh, the particular house had a, a uh, theater room where we were going to broadcast the, the Grammys live in Eastern Standard Time. And then right. uh, we had 250-plus guests that were there, uh, which, which actually doubled when they saw us on the uh, – actually almost doubled. But we had 250 guests there. And um, to see us uh, get married, and then we were going to be escorted back from the, the Staples venue, and that's when we would do all the traditional things. Like even our parents were there at the house, and um, so they nobody knew that we were getting married on the Grammys all the way up until the time that you saw it. So people were already wow. at the house waiting 
for almost three hours until we got back there, and then that's when the surprise hit. It actually came out that morning that we were one of the ones getting married at the Grammys. Yeah. What? But, but to and to answer your question, no, our parents couldn't come. None of right. our none of our families could come, um, which was one of the reasons why we were like, oh, well, let's let let us discuss it first because we did want them there. But but the 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 impact that we were going to have was was way Much more greater. than because, yeah, it was greater. And the fact that they were gonna, we were going right to them right after, like we went straight after we got off stage, we jumped in the car and went straight to our parents. So. They, they, they felt great about it.